I would like to show you something really cool that you can do with the SPL Drum Exchanger plugin. I was just recently in need of a snare drum track and I couldn't record it live because I didn't have a snare drum and I was sitting in a small project studio. So here's what I did. I took a practice pad and I recorded myself playing that pattern on that pad. And then I loaded it up into Pro Tools. I then assigned the SPL Drum Exchanger plugin to that track. So here's the track again, just as I recorded it. And then I just started replacing it with the SPL Drum Exchanger. In order to hear what my trigger signal was like, I soloed the trigger section. Then I pushed the transient gain for best result. And then I adjusted the trigger gain. And then all I had to do was unsolo the trigger section. Yeah, you have a trigger already. And then adjust the trigger sensitivity with the green arrows. If they both blink together, that means a sample is triggered. Then I listen to the original signal. And since I don't actually want to use that original signal at all, I switch the dry wet to all wet. So have a look what I ended up with. If you want to check out the Drum Exchanger plugin for yourself, you can go online to www.spl.info. You can download the Drum Exchanger and the sample packs, install them on your computer, and test them for 14 days without any limitations or restrictions. So thanks for listening, and have a lot of fun experimenting around and making music. And until next time, bye-bye.